the Cincinnati Parks Board spending its money wisely and in line with city rules. Parks Board leaders spent hours today to vending, defending their practices to council. The changes being discussed could lead to big changes across the city. Evan Millward live at City Hall now asking questions about the practice. Evan. Well, these agreements are ways of contracting out city work, and the city's now trying to limit them because some here believe that they are a way to play favorites. It turns out much of the new Smale Riverfront Park was built using those agreements. That's something the Parks Board leadership says won't happen again. Can we get just a couple quick comments from you? No comments. Cincinnati Parks Director Willie Cardin. And thanks for being here. With nothing to say to us Monday after making City Council a promise that a current audit of his department won't be needed again. We won't be back here with this issue, with the new procedures and the training that's going on. We will make sure, no, I will make sure it doesn't happen again. At issue, this note from City Manager Harry Black calling into question how much of Smale Riverfront Park was built. So-called master service agreements the department says were used to get things done more quickly. In time for last summer's All-Star Game. Those agreements can be intended for repairs and regular maintenance, not usually major construction projects. Think of it as like having someone on retainer. Budget Committee Chair Charlie Winburn calling for a total ban on them. I think master service agreements and my understanding of them, limited understanding, is a very dangerous thing in that it could be used to favor a group over another. Parks leadership says it used those agreements because that's how it's been done for years. Then the city changed the rules. It's just important to note that all these new procurement policies were changed after the park was completed. But that was then, this is now, and we will go forward and be trained and use the proper procedures from this point forward. Has anyone told you that the master service agreement used uh, relative to smell is illegal, immoral, or unethical? No. Questions about those agreements weren't all city leaders had for the Parks Board. They also called into question some of the spending. Uh, Commission President Otto Budig told me after the meeting that there were expenses, but he says they led to big donations, oftentimes multiple times the size of the expense. He says it was all worth it. We're live outside Cincinnati City Hall tonight. I'm Evan Millward, 9 on your side.